The idea of this smart building, which serves as the corporate head office of the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas, was conceived 10 years ago. It's now complete and ready for use. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our... The commissioning is a high-profile event, as Governor Yesun Wiki of River State and industry giants are in attendance, both physically and virtually. A former managing director of the NLNG speaks on the journey from conception to actualization. It took Nigeria LNG 10 years from incorporation to the shipment of the first LNG cargo. It took Nigeria LNG 10 years from the vision of a corporate head office to the commissioning. The Deputy Managing Director explains the components of the building. The amenities here include a sporting and recreational hall, multi-purpose halls, banking halls, a filling station, a standard sick bay, a library. The Managing Director and CEO highlights the successes of the company. We have introduced the NLNG Overseas Postgraduate Scholarship Program that has sponsored already over 75 Nigerian youths to acquire specialized training in top universities of the United Kingdom. Minister of State for Petroleum commends the organization for its successes. The NLNG has demonstrated its commitment to corporate excellence by situating its corporate head office in the state where it operates. Governor Wike calls on other multinationals operational in the state and are yet to have their headquarters in Port Harcourt to do so. If River State is not safe, why would LNG be operating in River State and having their headquarters in uh, River State? Those proponents of insecurity, please try to have a second uh, thought. The building is officially commissioned and is followed by a tour. The presence of NLNG office in Port Harcourt has also generated employment opportunities for indigents of the host communities of Amadiama and Ogunabalo.